Hi, beautiful souls. This is Arshna here with Divine Soul Resonance, welcoming everyone to my channel with all my love and all my heart. Today I'm bringing forth a reading for us to look at what is opening up in this upcoming week. Um, what are some of the energies that are playing out, some of the challenges that we will be overcoming, and what would be some of the guidance messages that our higher self, our spirit team, spirit guides are guiding us towards to help us navigate through these energies. Note that readings are timeless, so whenever you chance upon it is when it's meant for you. So these are general readings, my dear. These are not private readings. So if you'd like something that's more personalized, um, I'm very happy to do personal readings. So let's begin. Energies coming up for the upcoming week. Purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. So this week, there will be some testing on love. There will be people who will trigger you. There will be circumstances that will come up. There will be things that will open up for clearing in your emotional body, which will show up in the physicality. It could be workers co-workers triggering you. It could be family members. It could be um, anyone really. But the key is your purpose is to open your heart and cleanse your heart and release old patterns of resentment, anger, disappointments, grief and sadness and expand this beautiful energy of love. We'll look more into it. You possess this determination. That's why I said there will be some testing this week. Energy this week. Throat chakra. Energy of five. So I'm sensing in this week, some of you may feel um, kind of blocked in expressing yourself or inability to express yourself but I also am seeing that you're being called in this particular week to be mindful of the words throat chakra is about higher expression what you're putting what energy you're putting out into the world okay so you're harnessing the sacral energies and you express so that's why it talks about I you possess the determination you need to use your willpower and dedicate to demonstrate love so this week is going to be pretty prominent and pretty important for you to be careful of the energy that, I mean, we should always be mindful of how we are speaking, how we are speaking to ourselves, how we are speaking to others, because that's what you will attract by the law of attraction. But in this particular week, that's why I'm saying there will be people who will definitely trigger you. Okay, They will trigger you. They will try to nudge you and see if they can get a reaction out of you. Or they may do things that are completely out of integrity, which truly, I mean, is low vibration. You know it, you know, it's, it's no questions about it. Yet, you're being asked to express and use the power and the gift of the word. If you have to say a word, let that be of love, let that be of compassion, let that be of forgiveness. I wanna look at what chakra is going to come up a little bit. <sighs> we'll need an initiation is what I was going to say. Is going to feel a bit constricted. Okay. And we get the heart chakra. We get the heart chakra. This is card number 26. Okay. So this is speaking about maybe you'll feel disconnected. That you're not connected. Maybe people are disconnected from you. Or you're feeling a disconnection with people. Okay. You're feeling a lack of oneness, like we're not on the same page, we're just fighting. I mean, I, 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 we're, I'm trying to create peace here. I'm bringing in the higher perspective, but people are just, you know, getting into the fighting mode and we're just not, you know, making sense. So, so people have their own agendas and you're trying to figure out, can we even come together to come to a conclusion or come together to a peaceful understanding? So this is why I said I feel like this seems to be a testing phase. Um, but also know that we are all deeply interconnected. There is love that is surrounding you. There is a connection. 
and there is support that is available for you. So if you're feeling like alone, don't feel alone. Your guides, your loved ones, or there is support around you. I do feel that you do have some people, if let's say you're having a difficulty in your family life, so then you're going to say, like, I can't reach out to my family. But there is someone in your friend circle or someone in an extended at your work, some place, spiritual community, some community where they get you. There is a support. So lean on that support. OK. And second, know that your energetic vibration interconnects with all the people. So if there are some lower vibrational energies coming forth and they're, they're acting out of uh, out of integrity, they are not acting in integrity. It is you with your higher vibration of love that's going to help dissipate, that's going to help connect and support a higher vibration here in that particular location, wherever you are in that situation and on earth. It's a big week. Heart chakra opening through the connection of the higher, through the connection of the throat chakra. Another message that is coming is you're going to receive guidance from your guides in this week very strong guidance about your purpose in life yes what are the energies people are working through in this week balance is coming yeah tactlessness hmm. what is this knight of swords upright what is the justice? Upright. What is the seven of wands? Upright. What are we walking away from here? Okay. Thank you. What is this justice coming in work with the eight of pentacles here? What is this justice coming with this eight of pentacles here? Are we doing this inner reflection on this defenses? Thank you, Angels. You're creating a big positive shift in your life. That's one message. You are creating a positive shift in your life. For many of you, you have been working quite actively on speaking your inner truth, following your higher guidance. So when we are on that path of self-love and on purpose, meaning when we are getting on our divine life purpose, all that obstructs us from our inner if this were a diamond, for this to shine completely, all that is obstructing, all that needs to be um, taken away so that we can see the inner complete pure light will come up to surface. So situations that were less than, where people were quite tactless, uh, or there was information that was withheld. I do feel deceptive energies here with this Knight of Swords being reversed. Uh, uh, lack of information coming in or lack of tact. I don't know why I'm feeling tactlessness with this. And I'm also feeling um, people hiding things. Okay. So what I'm also sensing is that I do feel in this week, you're going to be guided very, very strongly to speak the truth from your heart. Perhaps turn your back on some controlling figure. I'm, I'm seeing this emperor as someone who had been, it could be like a job, like a big, and, you're, and you have to speak up over there and you're wanting to make certain things known. It could be in a relationship where someone, it was more like a patriarchal society and you've never had something where you could speak up. You know, some controlling. Today I'm feeling a very controlling energy with this. There is a walking away, okay? There is a walking away. But here again, the message is you possess in the determination to consciously demonstrate love. You're going to do self-love here to speak. But whatever you're going to speak, it's going to be heartfelt. This is the Queen of Swords in this particular deck. One hand is on the heart, meaning I speak from my heart. Gentleness, 
but I will stand for truth. If something is not right, I will stand up. I will protect myself and people around me. Okay, so I do feel there is going to be, I don't want to call it a war here, like a warring energy, but I'm sensing that you will stand up to somebody who is in a, who, who in your life has had a control. Okay, you're going to stand up. There is a walking away from this. Whether you're leaving that situation, leaving that job, I don't know. That's for you to see. But there is a walking away from something. Perhaps you will speak about that this has been emotionally unfulfilling. And how that plays out is going to be individual for you. And there is a walking away from that. Okay, so right in the middle of our reading, we have the card of justice. So speak truthfully, be honest, be in your integrity. Okay, be loving, be just. Okay, so I do feel also that finally justice is going to be coming to you. Where? I'll tell you in which area. In your work. Whatever you've been focused and developing on. In your work area, things are going to come to balance. Or money is going to be restored to you. Something that you've been working really hard on. Okay, something you've been working really hard on. You've been focused, you've been building on that, you've been working on it, and you've been waiting. When is when is this next promotion coming? When is my uh, work going to take off? When is that coming, taking off? I've been waiting, I've been planning, I've been expanding, but it's been slow, I don't know. And some of you have gone through this period of, this is the Ten of Swords, which is like, I am completely defeated. I don't even know if this is ever coming to me. Um, there is... A growth phase that's taking place in your life right now that's what the justice is coming you continue to focus with hope and optimism keeping your mind body and emotional emotions in alignment I do feel work offers coming with this tree of Pentacles there's something some beautiful stuff that's going to open up in your workplace something where you work where you're dedicating your skill towards there's going to be balance coming in meaning things that were taken away from you or that didn't come to you that were due to you and you've been working really hard on them and you turn your back on situations with your mental thinking and there's a new cycle coming and you know after I attend we have a new beginning and I'll tell you it's already showing up here so I do feel you've had to defend a lot in um, in connections or people who you consider were your family, family, friends, work, people you were close. So there was a there was a constant defense. You you had to be on guard. You had to be constantly defensive. Like I I don't know who's going to come in and strike next. So that has been an exhausting journey. So what is also coming to surface in this week and weeks ahead is going to be a you're going to let your guard down that you don't have to be in the worrying energy of I need to defend my beliefs. You just stand up. Now justice is coming to you. Justice is going to be restored for you in your work, in your home life, in some area of your life where you felt quite defeated. And I do feel that you were in the right energetically. And um, now the universe is giving you what you truly deserved which is balance, which is wealth, money, love, support, connection, and walking your divine path with all the blessings of abundance coming to you. Why I'm saying that is look at all these clarifiers here and what you've been defending. You've really done, you're going inward in this week or in weeks before or weeks after. Okay, because this is hermit energy. Major arcanas take some while. They stay with us for a while. It's not like a one day thing. It's an internal journey on where your defenses have been up, where you felt the lack of support. Did you give yourself love? You're going to look at where I gave love. Okay, where was all this connection? Okay, so you're going to be looking inward a lot about this. You're going to look at um, how certain thought patterns have kept you trapped. Okay. Okay. So you are going to move away from some negative thinking. You're going to move away from some mental situation. You are going to move away from feelings of lack, abandonment, rejection, fear, sadness, and there is a movement away. You're taking charge of your mind. You're taking control of your mindset. You are choosing now a different mindset. And as you choose a different mindset and you choose different set of emotions to align with that are higher vibrations, you're bringing about a big shift in your life. Okay. Why I said emotions? Because I didn't show you this card. This is the mind and the emotions. Okay. Lack, loss, grief, 
I can't believe this happened. I can't believe people did this. And all of that falls in this category, okay? But with the Four of Cups, I do want you to see that there is a cup that's coming to you. There is a brand new emotional birthing. There is an emotional offer that's coming to you. But because you've been on the defense, you cannot see the interconnectedness yet because of the lack, the loss that's taken place. Very soon, you're going to be releasing that. You're bringing about a shift and you'll be able to see this brand new emotional offering coming to you. It could be a relationship. It could be support that comes in. It could be absolutely the job that you love. Something where you feel very, very good about and you know that there's a lot of growth. It's coming to you. Okay. It's coming to you one more time. Your trust is going to be restored in the divine. This is the heart chakra about divine oneness connection interconnectedness you're going to be, you're going to come into that space where you have closed out a cycle when you close out a cycle you come into a brand new cycle that's right here we start life afresh some of you are completely closing big chapters okay right now and there is going to be a huge positive shift that is coming in your life there is abundance there's growth there's optimism and you are being handed some keys, hidden keys, which, you, which people cannot see. You're integrating what you cannot see and what you can see. The masculine energy and the feminine energy. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Completely in balance coming in. Oh my gosh, I didn't see this at the bottom. Okay, There's the lover's energy. This is at the bottom of the deck. It's due to you. It's coming to you. Okay, As you're bringing in these changes, as you're taking these step forward because this was just like a weekly reading so this is a beautiful week remember to stay grounded remember to stay in your heart center and remember that words have power so choose your words wisely i'm going to leave you in this week with a message from the crystal connections protection beautiful black obsidian if you have rainbow obsidian as a crystal I would recommend it would support you in your journey and I'm being guided to show you that you have the courage to move forward okay earth element bloodstone okay I'm actually have that this is this I don't know if you can see it okay. this is that energy I have that here for us today bloodstone you have the courage to move forward so your main message is you are protected and you possess the determination and the dedication to consciously demonstrate love and as you do that you are shifting your vibration you're going through a portal and you're creating a very big positive shift this is destined you are shifting your destiny this week marks and remember this we'll talk again I would love for people to come back and say I remember this week marks something big where there is going to be a shift in destiny with a decision that you make within yourself. Okay? Sort of truth. There's definitely a shift in destiny. So you're calling in your true destiny. With that, I say goodbye for now and I will talk to you soon. This is Arshna here with Divine Soul Resonance.